Morning guys. So I'm standing out here in one of our cornfields um, that we have planted rye into last fall. This rye was no-tilled into the ground, meaning we didn't disturb the soil at all. We came in, we harvested the corn, we mowed the corn stalks, we baled them up, which we use for bedding in the winter, and then we no-tilled the rye into it. <clears throat> what this rye is doing is keeping this field um, excited. It's keeping the dirt excited and fresh. Um, these roots are going down, they're holding moisture um, for the rye. So what we'll do is we'll come in here in another month. It'll be about waist tie. We'll harvest it, wrap it, um, and bale it. And then it'll ferment all winter long, or summer long, excuse me, it's a Monday. It'll ferment all summer long and then we'll feed it to our cattle next winter, which is a great sh source of feed. Um, so we're utilizing these fields more than just out of the summer months. Um, what the dry is actually is doing as well is creating a base cover so our weeds are not growing um this stuff will tiller out which means that this one this little rye right here is going to grow to be this big and this wide so it's going to cover the entire ground so we'll plant into this while there's still rye stubble on the ground and it's still green and growing even though we cut it it still will grow um and we'll plan into this. So our weed control is already out here. Um, and then, which also in the summer months, when we get to a drought, um, holds moisture from these roots and releases it as the corn needs it for next year to grow. Hope you guys have a great day.